the orbiter which will be used would be the chandrayaan 2 orbiter is it in good health it is still in very good health and uh, we will be using chandrayaan 2 orbiter for our uh, ascent uh, communication relay station for chandrayaan 3 and and what about uh, the whole science which will be done mm -hmm. now is there any instrument on the uh, propulsion module because this time you are not calling it a orbiter but a propulsion module yeah theoretically we, uh, the propulsion module should not have an instrument but we found that it is possible it has certain life it has a short life likelihood of having a short life so we thought that what we can do with it and one of the payload that we added is to look at earth from moon and then look at the habitable planet like features of uh, earth be captured using a spectral a spectrographic instrument and use this information as a study for future exos planet studies so there is one payload for that so so essentially looking for signatures of what life on earth is and then using those signatures to look for life on other uh, planets earth -like which planet. we earth like planets in future yes exactly the same so we know today exos uh, solar planets are a uh, great interest in uh, in the all, all over the astronomers and many of them have been discovered in including the near star stars so if you were able to identify the features because today we do uh, a certain amount of uh, remote sensing of the atmosphere of those planets to understand the relative distance between the planet and the sun we find out the stars capability what will be the likelihood of the temperature there the we look at the light coming through the atmosphere of that uh, planet and then look at spectroscopically identify the structure of that uh, atmosphere what type of constitutions are there whether water is present whether uh, oxygen is present so this is a extent of study today but if you are able to do similar observation for earth and then use some cor correlation between this to the exosolar planets possibly we can say okay such and such planets have like high likelihood of having life of similar to earth of course life could be in many other forms they don't have to be like earth may not be carbon okay may not be carbon and oxygen based yeah. now what about the science on uh, the the lander and what about the science instruments on the rover okay there are the instruments on both uh, lander and rover are one and the same as what we flew last time uh, we will be using uh, uh, the mineral study or the constituent element study of the surface of the moon is the one objective we want to look at the low low height atmospheric characteristics electrostatic characteristics of the moon we would like to pierce uh, one sensor into the surface of the moon so to the depth of almost 10 cm and measure the thermophysical characters of the moon uh, regolith so these are and these are the type of observation capability that we have built into both the uh, lander and rover are we looking for any signs of life on the moon with pre pre vikram and pragyan no, with all the available knowledge we know that there is no possibility of life on the moon so there is no instrument to look specifically on the life on the moon but we are looking at the at the thermophysical the the electron the static you know, electric charge of characteristic of the moon we are also looking at the seismological studies we are putting an instrument to look at the uh, the seismic signatures due to various act what we call earthquakes or lunar earthquakes we don't we don't call it earthquake anything very small impact so for example asteroid coming and hitting moon it will generate a wave and we can sense it using a very highly sensitive instrument and various movements of this can be sensed so it will give you some understanding of the inside structure of the moon so this is also another in scientific objective so how many people would have worked on uh, chandrayaan 3 and what is the rough cost see chandrayaan 3 there are people working on the rocket uh, people working on the satellite and also the entire ground infrastructure people who are contributing to it so it could be some thousands plus well, that's a large number of people yeah. whose grace and brain matter yeah, has yeah. been used yeah, directly and indirectly contributing yes